Chris, coming in, talking about gaming. This week, Payday 2 came out. There's a couple of new heists. The heists were described as point break heists. And the front video was changed to a movie trailer. Point break doesn't look that good. It looks like they might have put all of the big stunts in the trailer. But I don't know. I don't think anything's gonna beat Superman versus Batman. I'm stuffing the entire movie in that trailer. That was awful. Anyways, back to Point Break. <clears throat> the two heists are pretty cool. You know, you drop out of a plane with a pallets of money and you uh, pick it up. Classic Payday 2 style teamwork. Uh, they're both heavy. Lots and lots of guns. Bring as much armor as you can. But they're pretty fun missions. I did them both yesterday and they were pretty quick, one of them. Um, the second one, not as quick when you break into NORAD essentially, but now it's under control of murky water. And well, those two heists are pretty good. Not so much in the way of extra loot, as their payday is just larger, similar to a Hoxton breakout, where there's not like a whole lot of extra loot. Actually, there's none. And, but the payday is pretty good at the end. And as the difficulty scales, obviously the payday scales as well. But that being said, not gonna see point break. And, you know, no Keanu Reeves, no Patrick Swayze, no thank you, not interested. Which Keanu Reeves should really have his own character in Payday 2, and I don't mean like the character he plays, but like an actual character that's just Keanu Reeves. Because, I mean, you have John Wick, and now you have Bodhi, although he wasn't Bodhi. <coughs> you know, he was the other guy. Patrick Swayze was Bodhi, but still, like, a lot of his movies are making it into Payday 2, and I love it, because I love Keanu Reeves. He's a great guy. I mean, he's a great actor. I don't actually know him personally, but if he did, I'd like to think he was a great guy. This is my glorious beard from November, but you know, it's time. <clears throat> I just can't justify having this much beard. Anyways, another game I've been playing this week is Imperium. It's kind of somewhere between Seven Days to Die and Space Engineers. It has a robust crafting system. Uh, sometimes it seems a little complex, but it's pre-alpha, so it's just a start. It may add things to help you to learn, because essentially it just kind of drops you in there and says, figure it out. It's one of those things where they're not holding your hand, so it doesn't feel boring. It's kind of like exciting to like discover like, oh yeah, I built this, now put this. And nothing's more hilarious in that game than putting together your first spaceship, for getting a stabilizer jet, and whirling into the ground, <laughs> blowing up. I mean, it's a lot of time wasted. But man, it is hilarious. In it, you can kind of like walk around like a first person shooter and, and hunt. You can build, craft some guns. But there's also the aspect you make your ship. There's several different ships. You can make a capital ship, you can make a small vessel, you can make a hover vessel. Hover vessel is pretty fun, you know, just kind of like cruise around the surface, but. Um, the easy planet to start on, it's kind of difficult because you have to, you know, cruise along the water, but also if you want to go over the land, it doesn't hover as high, so you kind of just poof, slam into the side of the land. If you're going too fast, you will blow out some stabilizing engines, becoming a problem. Uh, my first small vessel crashed into it. Second, almost crashed into it. Third, I was doing great and I went on a mission to go mine some resources. There's a number of different resources you have to mine to build a lot of the components. Standard crafting game. Um, but I didn't put any kind of armor plating or anything to protect my main thruster. So I got attacked <coughs> and it blew up and I had to use the initial, the frontal reverse thruster to make my way all the way back home so that I could repair it. Let me tell you, never left thrusters unarmored again. That was pretty lame. But I finally made it out into space and you can like break the atmosphere and get into space and there's several other different planets you can explore and I started creating a Star Destroyer. Because obviously, I'm not gonna build a mod called Mari. I'm gonna build a super star as well, just a star destroyer, because I don't have enough time to do a super star destroyer. But if I did, it would be a super star destroyer, because that would be like awesome, and you would too. I know it, minus the time consumed. 
consumption thing, but I mean, we're all playing Fallout 4, so we can't really make that argument. And there was another thing that I did this week. I, I, I watched Jessica Jones. It's a pretty good show. I was concerned because the main actress in it was in a show called The Bee in Apartment 23. Now, I didn't watch this show. You know, I, I, I didn't watch this show. But <clears throat> Chrissy did a lot, and I saw glimpses of it. And she was a over the top, you know. And I wasn't sure if that was going to translate well to a Marvel um, kind of Netflix series, but it did. It did. She's fantastic. She definitely is doing a great job. And Jessica Jones, it, it's a good show. I'm only two episodes in, so that's disclosure. But it's a pretty good show so far. It's a little messed up. A wicked dark. Chrissy loves those things, so she's eating it up. She's her favorite movies are The Crow, so you know she's all like oh, super dark. I love it, yeah. But it is weird seeing Doctor Who as the villain. Yeah, I don't think I'm gonna get over that. Maybe I will. Who knows? Anyway, that's it for today. Like and subscribe. The future. Depends on it. You know, it does. So, like and subscribe.